what's up everybody uh you all know you know if you've been watching my channel that i mainly focus on collecting funko products but like i said in a recent video i'm into whatever looks cool whatever catches my eye then i'm down for that i really try not to limit myself as a collector and uh, this product that i'm about to talk about i've actually seen these in store already in fact i saw a couple of the video game related ones um in target yeah so i've seen this product it's actually already out there in stores and you can check for these online as well as a matter of fact i will link their website so you can get a better look at what's available right now but of course i am referring to here to tubs on um, the cosplaying ducks and these are by a company called numskull so um it's very cool that they reached out to me i've seen that they reached out to some other youtubers as well of course you know they're trying to get their name out there and i won't lie i'm a little bit picky about what i will share on my channel just because nine times out of ten it's got to be something i'm already interested in and i was already kind of checking these out and i'm waiting on the dc ones to release you know and i'll show you um you know some images of what they have available and what's up and coming with those dc ones towards the end of this video but uh yes you know like i said they hit me up and i was willing to go ahead and check these out and share them with you they sent me this quack pack here which contains two of the figures and um i did give them a list out of what they have available right now of characters i might be interested in so you know like i said i'll share which ones i ended up with here i think all they have on the outside of the box just we got the rubber duck over there and as far you know as far as vinyl collectibles go then matching up popular characters with the rubber ducks i think it does make sense it's taking something that's familiar and putting it with something else that's familiar so i definitely understand that so we're going to go ahead and get into this uh quack pack here you know like i said and we'll see which two they sent me from my list okay up top here i do see this uh essentially a postcard it has their website on it tubs.com i'm going to start with the one on the right here because this one is probably the least surprising out of what i got um, so like I said, they have some video game related ones. What's this here? Oh, we got a tub sticker, I guess. Okay, we'll set that aside. But, um, yeah, I'm old school Street Fighter fan. I'm not the greatest at fighting games, to be real. But, of course, I like, uh, you know, fighting games. And Street Fighter 2 is just classic. Of course, so we got the Ryu here. Some people still say Ryu. I, I got used to saying Ryu. So, yeah, but that that's how I say it. I actually kind of lifted it so i already got it coming up some but i'm going to take it out anyway um on the side here you can actually see they also have ken available chun Li, and blanca if they had sent blanca i'd be happy with that i really do like the look of that blanca so i might still add that to my collection yeah but uh let me go ahead and slide this uh sleeve off here i think it just slides off yeah i'm not going to take this out i don't really i mean you can kind of see the uh the tub you know tubs all right when it's in the packaging but i just feel like it's better to go ahead and get these out okay. and of course the tub itself can be used you know to sit this in and keep it displayed but i just think i don't really think this is necessary uh oh it actually has the street fighter logo over there they didn't peep that at first okay but um yeah i think i would just go ahead and take this out and display it and you see he's actually forming a hadouken there he's actually powering up basically with his chi yeah so Again, the, the rubber duck thing is, is definitely unique, and I, I like things that are unique. I'm really trying to mix things up in my collection. I don't have a whole lot of figures that are video game related, and actually this is, I believe, other than other than a really small uh, version of Guile, it's like really a really tiny uh, metallic figure, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really have uh, things representing Street Fighter, so yeah, like I said, I, I like the look of this Ryu. Is very true to the character you know matched up with the duck i mean of course it's kind of silly looking but in a good way you know some of the collectibles they are kind of silly looking so yeah i especially do like that he has the hadouken going on there he's actually got his gi on got the red headband of course you know so overall pretty cool looking and i yeah i really think i'm gonna go and end up uh you know getting that blanca as well blanca is one of my favorite characters I used to use Blanca a lot because he's just easy to use as a character. If you know his mechanics, um, you know, the charge rolling and the electricity, they're just, if you're not really technical when it comes to fighting games, Blanca is an easy character to use and he has a cool look, you know? So yeah, he's one of my favorites. And like I said, I could see getting the tubs of uh, Blanca as well. The second one I'm going to share here, this is the one that might surprise some people, but even though I don't collect from this um, series, I'm a big fan of this particular character. So we have here uh, Legolas, you know, from Lord of the Rings. 
um, the Lord of the Rings movies, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I did watch, uh, you know, that original trilogy. I did watch uh, the Hobbit trilogy, which probably shouldn't have been a trilogy. But Legolas just has some of my favorite scenes out of the movies. Let's not even talk about the books. I mean, it's probably no surprise that I have not read the books at all. But Legolas has some amazing scenes when it comes down to it. Definitely my, my favorite character. Um, I think uh, Orlando Bloom does a great job with that character. You see also here they have Frodo Baggins, Gandalf the Grey, Sauron as well. So, yeah, they got a good variety with these. I'm going to go ahead and get this one out. Here's a better look at the actual tub that has the Lord of the Rings logo on it. Just going to go ahead and sit that down. Again, I would not actually leave, um, you know, the cosplaying ducks inside of those tubs. I think it just hides too much of the figure now I, I noticed that um, it had a warning on the packaging and let me show you all real quick there's a warning there on the packaging you know choking hazard small parts and I was like why do they have that because I thought these figures were like all one piece but um, as I was getting Legolas out I heard something fall and it turned out it was his bow that fell so the bow can actually be moved out of his hand I went ahead and put it back in there and then he comes with an uh, arrow as well which I'm actually not sure where this arrow would go because this hand doesn't look like it's made to hold it the quiver you know it won't go into the quiver the quiver is already molded together like that with the extra arrow so i'm actually not sure why he has this extra arrow i don't know what you know how that's meant to be displayed so i'm just going to kind of leave that to the side but yeah the actual actual you know legolas uh, cosplaying duck very true to the character you know the hair sculpt is on point i actually do like that you know the bow does move you know and you could take it out of his hand if you want but of course, I don't see any reason to take that off of his hand, though. Yeah, the details, I think, you know, very true to the character. So, again, it's, it's a definitely a unique mashup between something that's familiar and something else that is familiar. Now, growing up, I, of course, I, I never had, like, rubber duckies or anything like that. I think that's way old school. I'm not really sure if people, like, legitimately, you know, like, if kids legitimately play with those anymore. Somebody can let me know what you think about that. I've... I've I'm not familiar with that, you know, um, how popular those are. But just as a mashup collectible, like I said, I think this is a clever idea. I definitely like the look of this one. And again, Legolas is just a cool character. So, yeah, out of, um, you know, the choices that I, I gave them, I'm pretty happy with these. Again, I think Blanca is a little bit cooler than Ryu, but I, I definitely like Ryu having the Hadouken going on there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, definitely let me know what you think about these. And like I said... They do have a lot more available. Um, it seems like they kind of lean into video games a lot. So um, they have some that are related also to Crash Bandicoot, Spiral the Dragon, Borderlands. Um, what else? They got Destiny as well. And then they do have some that are related to uh, Ghostbusters. Um, like DC, like I mentioned earlier, and I'm really looking forward to those uh, DC ones. Definitely going to add those into my collection. At least two of them for sure. Maybe three. You know, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, they, they have these different properties going on. And I'm assuming, you know, if they have a, a good start with this company, if people are really picking them up, that they will be able to expand on those licenses. But uh, yeah, definitely check these out and let me know what you think about them. And as far as the DC ones go, what really drew my attention to Tubbs to begin with is I saw that they're going to have Batman, of course, Joker, Harley Quinn. And you all, if you know me, you know that I'm definitely getting that Harley Quinn because I'm a Harley Quinn collector there they got robin as well robin just looks okay he might be the one that i don't worry about so much but batman is a definite harley quinn is a definite the joker is very likely you know so i'm looking forward to um those releasing and once those become available you'll see them on the channel i'm definitely going to share those because like i said i intend to add those into my collection but yeah for sure if you're like me and you like to mix things up in your collection do consider checking out this product again share your thoughts about them in the comments i look forward to checking out your comments again thank you to numskull for actually reaching out to me um and it's cool when a company that i'm already having some sort of you know interest in actually reaches out so yeah i definitely appreciate that but uh, yeah thank you all for taking the time to check out this video and i will talk to you all again real soon